So what are the guiding principles overall for treating bipolar disorder during pregnancy? Well, if a patient has extremely mild illness and has been stable without medication for many years, if you can gingerly attempt to withhold mood stabilizers during the first trimester versus using low-dose lithium or maybe other low-dose medications such as an atypical during the first trimester. But please, if you do this, monitor very, very carefully for early relapse because even if this patient has been stable without medication for years, if she really has bipolar disorder, she is at risk for decompensation during pregnancy and certainly during the postpartum. For the patient with moderate to severe illness, we recommend continuing the mood stabilizers that work and any other psychiatric medications as needed to maintain stability throughout pregnancy. What are reasonable treatment choices for bipolar illness in pregnancy? Well, lithium basically still is the gold standard, but lamotrigine can be used as well for patients who have mainly a predominantly depressive type of bipolar disorder. These have well-characterized reproductive safety profiles and relatively low absolute risks, especially as compared to decompensation risks with women who have bipolar disorder. Lithium's a particularly good choice for women at risk for mania, and the motrichine is a good choice to prevent bipolar depression, but not necessarily mania. Atypical antipsychotics, well, the data is growing, and they do not appear to be teratogenic. So in summary, when treating the bipolar pregnant patient, all mood stabilizers carry some teratogenic risk, and most of them also carry some peripartum toxicity. When it comes to atypical antipsychotics, they do not appear to be teratogenic. And of course, treatment choice is made case by case. Use the safest regimen to maintain and maximize maternal mood stability and fetal safety. We have to remember there are no simple decisions for psychiatrically ill pregnant women with bipolar disorder. Good outcomes depend on the physical and emotional health of the pregnant mother. I would also recommend that you consider an article for your patients that I published with a co-writer, a co-researcher, Dr. Sonia Rasminski, in the Washington Post. And the article is in the On Parenting section, The Good Enough Mother Begins in Pregnancy. And basically, it talks about how one has to accept inherent uncertainty and ask, what can I live with given the conditions that I have now, as opposed to assuring a perfect outcome? Because after all, every baby deserves a healthy mother and parent, and every mother deserves to ensure parenthood. The key points here are pregnant women with moderate to severe bipolar illness should continue the mood stabilizers and other psychiatric medications that have kept them stable. Lithium and lamotrigine are reasonable treatment choices for bipolar illness in pregnancy. Lithium is still a first choice for bipolar pregnant women because it works well for both depression and mania. Lamotrigine may be considered as well for pregnant bipolar women, although it's thought to be better at preventing depression than mania. The database for atypical antipsychotics in pregnancy is growing and suggests that these agents do not appear to be teratogenic. And finally, treatment of bipolar disorder in pregnancy is decided best on a case by case basis and is made after considering the data and the clinical profile of each patient.